Welcome to the very first show on our brand new set here at Swarf and Chips headquarters. We've got a takeover show with Romy Machines UK. Now, I've got Marcel Machado, who is the general manager for Romy in the UK. He's going to be giving us a bit of an overview about Romy. And then Paul Reeves, who's the sales manager for the UK, is going to give us a bit of a technical insight uh, for the machines. So I'd like to welcome onto the set Marcel Machado. Welcome to the show, Marcel. Thank you very much. We're honoured to start <laughs> your new nice place here. Yeah. Yeah, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Um, I'm going to put you under a little bit of pressure. Can you describe Romy in one minute? I know it's a big company, but just a little bit of a condensed version. Yeah, of course. Uh, Romy, <coughs> It started in 1930. Uh, we started mainly with machine tools, moving later on into CNC machines. Uh, we, in the 70s, we started with the injection molding plastic machines. And um, today we do, we have three core businesses. So we have our own foundry, are very verticalized. All the production is made in-house. So we have our own foundry where we cast for ourselves and for other sectors like the automotive and uh, wind power. Uh, we have the core, uh, the, the more, the more, and the biggest part of the revenue comes from the CNC machines, and then we have the plastic injection molding machines. So that's the, the, the general split of the company. Uh, Revenue-wise, is between 16, 70 percent from CNC, 20 to 25 percent on the plastic, and everything else comes from the foundry. Uh, and those things will vary according to the time you're measuring them. Uh, <coughs> in two, Romy has always been a very has been a family company uh, through and through, founded by Mr. Romy. In 2006, we started to outgrow Brazil. So Romy decided to go public. We done our IPO. Uh, we got a lot of investment. The family stepped out. We have a professional CEO. And we used those investments to expand mainly into Europe. So we purchased uh, Sandretto, which was an uh, injection molding machines manufacturer in Italy. With that came all the structure we have in Europe today. Uh, and later on in 2012, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I'm going to get stick for that. <laughs> uh, we bought uh, Bucher and Weber. They make very large, I mean really large, horizontal milling machines. So today we have um, 11 factories, mm -hmm. all in all, uh, counting with Bucher in Hoytlingen in Germany. Uh, and one subsidiary in US. So a strong presence in Europe, very strong presence in Brazil, and expanding. Okay, that was a little bit more than one minute. Was it really? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. got a lot to say. Okay, it's a big company. <laughs> <laughs> now, that was longer than one minute, wasn't it? Yeah, you was. It, it, it goes fast, though. It's hard to count. Yeah, and Joe's here as well today. And didn't you pr produce the first Brazilian... We oh. did indeed, actually, yes. Uh, in, 19, in the 60s, uh, Romy got a license from a company called Izeta. Uh, was one of those nice, pretty bubble cars. And we manufactured them from 60 to 64 in Brazil. That was the first properly... We had other cars in Brazil, but they were all imported. Mm -hmm. So that was the first fully manufactured car in Brazil. Uh, we were in good company in Europe. They were licensed by BMW. Oh, there you go. Very nice. <laughs> now, talking about the tech center, this is your head office in Brazil. Yes. Talk us through this. All right. So, uh, recently we expanded our training facility. We are very focused on the training side. So, we, we can see the benefits of training people when they get a new machine. So, for that, we decided to expand uh, part of that. So, what you see now, it's the brand new tech center with a bit of everything that we do. So behind there, you can't really see, There's, uh, there are some classrooms, uh, they are always busy. Um, and we will go through everything. So from programming, using the machines, optimizing your process, to then actually going there and touching and using, and you, you, your employee will walk out of us uh, fully capable of running what you just purchased. And what have you got for the UK? Because I know you've got a big centre in rugby, haven't you? Yes. Uh, so we try to give the same experience from the headquarters everywhere we go. So in, in rugby, we have 20,000 square feet of warehouse and the offices on the side. In there, we have a, a showroom and a stock of machines. So we try to keep the availability of the machines short. Uh, we have a large... Um, warehouse, um, part of the warehouse for spare parts, around 1.2 million pounds in, in spare parts at all times. Um, all in all, this stock is around 4 million pounds. And part of that as well is a training center. So we have a nice training room, we, we can, can accommodate around 
18 people comfortably, we can make it a little bit cosier. Uh, and same principle applies. So on the training room, you will get a, um, a full training on what you purchase and being capable of running that piece of equipment to its best capacity. Uh, it also goes before the sale. So if you're not sure what you need, if you need help with your application, we, will, we have application engineer, he will look into that challenge, we will define the best machine for you, we will bring that project in-house, run it for you, and then you will be uh, completely satisfied with that application before you can commit to us. Yeah, yeah it's good. Um, where do your machines fit in the UK? Uh, I think we sit in a nice place in the market now. It's probably the widest um, s in terms of size. Uh, we are a mid-range machine, but on the top end of the quality. And we hope with a nice price. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. So uh, you will get um, a machine that is capable of doing 90% of all the jobs out there mm -hmm. uh, with one of the best solutions in terms of quality, um, weight of the machines is way um, above average power speed with a price that we again expect is around more towards the middle so it's more bang for your buck sure and if you look at the journey you're on you're quite new to the uk when you compare to some of the competition True, yeah. how far are you along this journey are you still growing challenging markets yeah very very much so uh, we have a very conscious strategy of not outgrowing ourselves uh, Having said that, we have experimented very good growth year on year. Uh, we have a, our sales manager, Paul, uh, he's been doing a great job structuring the company uh, because just to be taking one step back, we, we've had this Andretto thing which I mentioned. So the structure we have now comes from the plastic side. So it's, it was fantastic for that purpose, but then when Paul joined us, we started to structure everything on the same way. So engineers, backups, spares. Um, after that, the growth has been at least 50% year on year, 20, depending on how you count the value quantity mm -hmm. of machines. Uh, and that's the strategy going forward as well. We have a very long term plan. We're not here for the quick buck, cash it and take it out. So, what you're saying is Romy provide a complete solution for your customers? Yes. Uh, more than machines, we sell production. Okay, so next up on that note, we're going to be joined by Paul Reeves, the UK sales manager for Romy Machines UK. So welcome to the show, Paul. Thank you, Lindsay. Right, okay, we're going to discuss more about machines now. So if you go through the MTD archives, we've got some brilliant customer reviews of your machines. Yeah. Can you talk us through the D-Series? Uh, the D-Series is our vertical machining centre range. Um, we start with the D600, which is a 600X travel machine, and we go right through to the D1500, which is obviously a 1.5X. Um, all machines come with 30 tools as standard. Um, we offer two spindle options, an 8,000 or a 10,000 RPM. All machines can be available with through spindle coolant. Um, we've got a maximum cutting feed rate of 20 metres a minute, and we go up to 15,000 RPM in spindle speeds. So what's the USP for the D-Series? Really, it comes down to the, the sheer weight of the machine. All our machines are very substantial. That We build a very strong casting, um, which provides a lot of rigidity and strength for cutting forces, basically. Because, Marcel, you mentioned that you've got a foundry, well, two foundries. Yeah, uh, yeah. We, we have the foundry as a business, as a core business, and within that business we have two uh, factories for the, for, for the foundry and for the casting. So we cast our own metal and we sell that. Romy casts, or is capable of casting, 50,000 tonnes of metal a year. And just to put that in perspective, that will be the equivalent of 500 Land Rovers a week. Wow. Want to do me? <laughs> One Land Rover a week. <laughs> Paul, the VMC market is very crowded. So why is somebody going to buy a D-Series machine? What, what makes you different? I know you've got bigger tool changes than most competition machines. Yeah. Is there anything else? Uh, well, as I said, we offer 30 tools as standard um, and also our machines, you know, they're quick. We've got 30 metres a minute rapids, 20 metres a minute cutting feed rate and also very high torque spindles. When you say the cutting rate, what's that going to do for the end user? Because I know Paul, he said about the cutting feeds at 20 metres a minute, he goes, that's like pretty much unheard of. How does that help the end user? Well, it allows him to make his parts a lot quicker. So more, more volume, more production, more profit. 
Okay, well, let's go and see Paul. He's got a testimonial from one of your partners. Yes, guys, I'm in rural Buckinghamshire today and I'm at a solid cam event. I'm here on behalf of Romy, so it's good to see you've got the guys in the studio this week for a takeover show. I'm with Gordon here, who's the managing director of Solid Cam. We're going to find out why he selected the Romy machine recently as part of their new facility. Gordon, you've got a D800 here. What is it you liked about the machine and why you've bought it? And what do you think about the emergence of Romy as a brand in the UK recently? We approached Romy back in uh, last April at the Mac exhibition and we found that they had a, a good range of machines that covered all the disciplines of our software. So we knew they had good three axis machines, they had four axis, five axis, uh, right the way through to mill turn machines. So we knew they had a good solid range of machines and the people were good, the technical people and advice we've been getting has been absolutely first class. Uh, we've done Ever since that we've done a lot of projects together which have worked out very nicely for, for both of us which at the end of the day it helps the custom machine parts faster and quicker. And you've been in, you, you've been in amongst machine tools for many years I'm sure with your CAM software. Yep. Isn't it impressive how in, incredibly quick they've managed to grow their presence in the UK market with their machine tools? Uh, definitely yes, uh, we see that now they're absolutely everywhere. Everybody we talk to are now talking about Roman machines. Uh, I saw them at an event last week and uh, they, they were very busy. Um, we've done lots of work with them, as, as we've just said, but uh, we are seeing that they are emerging uh, very, very nicely and becoming a bit of a market force. Good luck with the event today, Gordon. So there you have it, guys. Back to the studio. Another happy Romy customer. I mean, Paul, it's so good to get such good testimonials, isn't it? Yeah, well, the machines really do speak for themselves and we, we tend to get a lot of repeat business once customers have got a machine and used it for a while. The D-series machine is very popular, but another popular range is C-series, the teacher lathes. And you speak to a lot of people, they, th they think they're just for educational resources, educational centres like schools, colleges, but that's not the truth, is it? No, no, we've got uh, a blue chip company that runs a small C420. Um, it's a very good machine for one-offs, prototyping, you can program it very quickly, you can use it as a manual machine or as a full-blown production CNC lathe. And this, the Refco video, that's a monster, isn't it? Yeah, that's a big machine. That was a machine that we installed recently, which has got a 1.6 metre diameter turning capacity by five metres between centres with live tools. And I wouldn't want to run that as a manual. Is it the biggest machine you do? No, we start at a 430 diameter and we go right up to 2.6 metre diameter by 15 metres between centres in 11 machines. 11, wow. And what can you add on? Y-axis, C-axis? Yeah, all machines can be available with Y-axis, C-axis, driven tools. So again, you talk about teacher, if you talk yeah, about it's, this it's little a winding point, machine. Yeah, you mentioned uh, people think it's an educational machine, but it's an actual production machine, mm -hmm. which can be a first step into going from conventional into your CNC and then growing on top of that without having actions to change the machine. Mm -hmm. And that's shop turn control. Yeah, Siemens shop turn, yeah. So we've discussed your vertical machining centres, discussed your lathes, but this industry is almost, um, you've got a lot of competition, shall we say. You've got to be in the five axis market, haven't you as well? Yeah, we do. We have two five axis machines. We do the DCM 625F, which is a five face machine, more of a three plus two, or we do the, the, the full simultaneous 5X, which is a full blown five axis machine. And what's the, the sizes, the capabilities that you're doing on these machines? The table size on those machines are 600 square, um, 620x, 560 by 480. So Paul, fill us in a little bit more about the whole machine spec. Uh, well, it's a 620 travel 5-axis machine. We do the 5F and the 5X. The 5F comes with a 10,000 through spindle coolant option um, and a large 15.5 inch Siemens 828 control. And the 5X is a 15,000 RPM machine, again with through spindle coolant, and a larger 19 inch 840 control. How about the construction? Is it a linear machine? Yeah, they're linear slideways, um, and the machine weighs 9.2 tonnes. Wow, okay. So this is one of the machines, well, all of your machines, all made from you know, your foundry, from as we mentioned or in earlier. House. It's all built in house at Romy in Brazil. So do you make everything other than presumably the Siemens control? Yeah, we, obviously we buy the controls in from Siemens and that's the only outside part that we fit to the machine. Everything else is done by us. 
A, qu a question I've got, obviously you launched the, the X, the, the fourth simultaneous five axis machine, and then you almost went back in time and made a three plus two machine. So if you've got a fourth simultaneous, why have you, why have you gone for a three plus two? Not everybody needs full five axis, and obviously there's a big cost saving in just the three plus two machine. So we launched that machine to kind of fill the gap in the market. Um, and so far it's been working really well. Yeah, I guess there's, there's not much true five axis machine uh, machining work available is there it's all it's all five-sided machining so absolutely and that machine allows you to do all that work and again on the the thing we say we cater for 90 percent you know again only 10 percent of the five axis will truly be mm -hmm. an interpolated service that you really need their level of uh, capacity of the machine so we were possibly overcharging customers when they could have a much nicer solution for a nice budget and the machine's made on exactly the same casting, so there's not really a great deal of difference. I guess the same machine, essentially, yeah. just a down rate of control, Can't maybe? Can't tell them apart, yes. Absolutely, yeah. So you went to Southern Manufacturing and you launched this machine, didn't you? Yeah, it made its UK debut at the, uh, this month's show. Um, went down really, really well. We ran the Darth Vader head demo, which <laughs> everybody really likes seeing. Um, and yeah, the machine was really, really well received. Brilliant. That's what you want, though, isn't it? Especially yeah. at a show. And again, shows are brilliant. And we say it every single time people get to see the machine running. They get to see the, the accessibility, the usability. And I know accessibility is a real key selling point for your machines as well, isn't it? Yeah, well, on the 5F and the 5X, obviously, it's a double door machine. So loading parts in and out is really easy to do. What I like about that uh, Darth Vader demo, to look at the finished part, it looks like a simultaneous part, doesn't it? But it's actually, it's, yeah. it's actually a three plus two. Yeah, well, it shows the power of the three plus two mm -hmm. over the full, you know, full simultaneous 5X machine. Yeah. And we can't finish the piece, Paul, without talking about the GL range, yet another popular range from you guys. Yeah, GL is our slant bed turning centers. Um, again, available as a standard two axis machine or with live tools, C axis. We also produce a Y axis machine and a full sub spindle machine as well. Very popular machines. Who's going to buy the GL range? Uh, large volume producers, really. You know, you can fit the machines with bar feeds. They can do lights out manufacturing. They're high volume producing machines. Right. And, um, you know, for 2017, because we've covered your machines, what, what have you got? Have you got any new releases or open houses? Yep, we've got a couple of open houses planned for this year. Um, and also we'll be exhibiting at the upcoming EMO show over in Hanover. Perfect. So you've got a busy year ahead. Yeah. So we've learned all about the machines. And finally, for all the Swarth and Chippers who have maybe heard of you, seen you at shows, seen you on the MTD site, have you got any final few words for them? Yeah, I think I can take this one. Uh, most people, we understand we're not the most known brand in Europe um, as well as we are in Brazil at home. But when people buy our machines, what they, we would like them to see and understand is that they're not buying a machine from a reseller. They buy it from the manufacturer. A manufacturer who's been making machines for 87 years. So when we buy that piece of kit, you're not only getting there, you're getting all the expertise that we have in manufacturing that we will lend it to you on the pre-sales process, doing your purchase, and afterwards, we're not selling you machines again, we're selling you production. And also, most of the customers that come to our showroom in rugby usually end up leaving with a machine. Perfect. So please come and join us, yes, please. <laughs> we will. But before you go, we've got you uh, a couple of the mugs. Oh, actually. <laughs> We do as well. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This Bit is the first. Thank you. Thank you very much. There Cheers. we go. We can have a yeah. cup of tea after this. You're gonna have to. You have to give the competition this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much for joining us, Marcel and Paul. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thank you. Cheers.